Hello friends welcome to my video as we all know many of our foods will support the growth of microorganisms or act as a vector so it is must to eliminate them by processing or to prevent their entrance and growth in our foods in this video we are going to see one such process known as pasteurization Pasteurization was named after the French microbiologist Louis Pasteur. Let's see the definition of pasteurization. The process of eating a liquid food or beverage to a controlled temperature to enhance the keeping quality and destroy harmful microorganisms. That is Pasteurization is a mild heat treatment process in which food is heated to below 100 degrees Celsius and the products are cooled promptly after the heat treatment. Pasteurization is used when more rigorous heat treatments might harm the quality of the product. To minimize health hazards from pathogenic microorganisms in food, to extend the shelf life of foods by destruction of spoilage microorganisms or enzyme inactivation to kill the competing organisms and allowing a desired fermentation by adding starter organisms when any surviving spoilage organisms will be taken care of by employing additional preservative methods in pasteurization most of these spoilage organisms are killed but others survive and these surviving organisms must be inhibited by some other methods to prevent further spoilage let's see the preservative methods for pasteurized products pasteurized products are usually subjected to various preservative methods to supplement pasteurization like refrigeration packaging in a sealed container evacuation of sealed container to maintain anaerobic conditions addition of high concentrations of sugar and addition of chemical preservatives various methods of pasteurization flash pasteurization or the high temperature short time method holding method or the low temperature long time method ultra pasteurization or ultra high temperature processing or ultra high treatment let's see some examples milk flash method in this method milk is heated at 71.7 degrees celsius for 15 seconds the holding method in this method milk is heated at 62.8 degrees celsius for 30 minutes ultra pasteurization method in this method milk is heated at 137.8 degrees celsius for at least 2 seconds by these processes all non sporing pathogens such as mycobacteria brucellae and salmonella are destroyed coxiella burnetii is relatively heat resistant and may survive the holder method we should remember one important point that is pasteurized milk is not sterile milk why grape wine may be pasteurized for 1 minute at 82 to 85 degrees celsius beer beer may be pasteurized at 60 degrees celsius or above dry fruits dry fruits are pasteurized in the package at 65.6 to 85 degrees celsius for 30 to 90 minutes milk 
strain and certain alcoholic beverages are subjected to a controlled heat treatment called pasteurization which kills microorganisms of certain types but does not destroy all organisms time and temperatures used in the pasteurization process depend on the method employed and the product treated a temperature of 80 degrees celsius for 5 to 10 minutes destroys the vegetative forms of all bacteria yeast and molds among the most heat resistant cells are the spores of clostridium botulinum which require 120 degrees celsius for 4 minutes or 100 degrees celsius for 330 minutes for their destruction i'm concluding my video here and see you soon in my next video thank you friends